Good morning, good morning everybody, it's Gav here, it's the uh, the 20th of July, 2023, time's about 8.30, um, I pulled up here at a, um, a truck stop, uh, which is right beside the um, historical village at uh, West Stowe, uh, actually it's just across the road from West Stowe, on the other side of the ho uh, highway is uh, resto. Uh, this place has got another name, River Bend or something of that nature. Not 100% certain. But um, you had to pull up here last night uh, after six hours. This is as far north as um, I don't know how many people saw the, uh, the news last night. But um, yeah, there was a, a fatal traffic accident up near um, the Bejewel um, magazine. A um, Turns out, apparently, a um, uh, a car brake checked a um, a tanker or a, a, a B double. He couldn't stop. He hit the car. It happened to occur on a bridge, and there were vehicles coming the other way. When he hit the car, it speared across and set off a chain reaction. It looks like there was about seven or eight vehicles um, involved. Um, don't know exactly who was killed. I believe it may have been the person in the car who did the brake checking. But um, someone lost their lives, at least one person, and six or seven others were extremely badly burned in the subsequent fire. So emergency crews had to stop all traffic on the highway. And um, they've been sending people out to Biloela to go around, which is an extra four hours. Um, I elected to pull up and, um, and and wait um, approximately three and a half hours time they're expecting the highway to be reopened I'll be waiting till about 10 10 30 uh, so it's another two hours and then I'll start pushing north towards um, uh, Mirimba uh, not Mirimba Mount Larkham to, uh, to then join the queue for the trucks heading north and I've just been told that there may be another accident on the north side of Rockhampton. Um, also another tanker involved, so hopefully no fire. Um, yeah, that's what happens when people do stupid things. Um, it can affect the lives of countless others. Um, us being delayed is nothing, but um, having been a member of the emergency services myself, uh, Fires like that are horrific. So all the personnel who turned up, such as the police, the fireys, the ambos, uh, you got to feel sorry for them because uh, it would have been a scene of utter and total carnage. And I can only, um, um, I can only sort of, you know, put my heart out there to those people and um, hope that they get the help that they're going to require after such a horrific incident. Um, also, I think one of the vehicles was a military vehicle, so, um, yeah, uh, a few of the organisations I used to work for are heavily represented in this particular crash. Um, from what I understand, there's at least two to three B-doubles and m maybe three to four caravans as well as the car. So, um, let's all hope that um, even though one person is definitely confirmed apparently uh, having been deceased uh, let's just hope the others pull through so um, it's put a bit of a dampener on my morning um, but I am still going to do a shake-up because um, for the rest of us we can reflect uh, bad things happen to good people all the time um, we've just got to push on now that might sound very cold and callous of me um, uh, but it's the way I cope with tragedy. So, um, at any rate, um, I'm going to uh, do a shake up this morning. I'm just going to do a blue ocean charged. Um, so, these are keto, gluten free, dairy free, and kosher certified. Um, they are um, they're really good for pretty much anybody. Um, so, if if you have some significant uh, issues with um, some food allergies, these should be okay. But once again, check on the back of the packet just to make sure that the ingredients in this aren't those that trigger you, okay? Um, so, onward and upward. So I've got my water, um, and I've got my water bottle. 
last week I, I left without it so um, you guys were subjected to me just having hot chocolate every day um, as lovely as it was um, I'm sure the rest of you got sick and tired of it oh no not another chocolate one so um, I'll, I'll do the blue ocean today this one tastes really really nice so um, and the powder in this one is a slight blue color too so you put in the water and it just goes up really blue It's beautiful. Oh, sorry, you can't see it. Um, oh, yeah, it's terrible. Okay, <laughs> I tried, but uh, yeah, it's it's a beautiful blue color. Oh, it really does hit the spot. Um, this is just straight cold cold water from because um, we had 12 degrees, so the water in the um, in the in the cab here in my water bottle is quite cold. So yeah, um, just room temperature water with the ketones. Uh, I've got uh, 12 ounces or about 400 milliliters, 450 milliliters of water and uh, mix that up. So that's really, really good. It, um, it'll help get in, do its thing. Um, I'll put on breakfast in a moment um, and, and cook that up. I've still got two hours to, um, to wait before I go anywhere. But uh, yeah, so. Um, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, I know this one's a little bit of a, a subdued um, morning um, shake up. I apologize um, if, if you find it um, a little bit um, depressing. It's just been a rough night. So you guys take care and um, please, please just make sure that you guys take care on the roads. Um, you know, it's it's not a good thing to go um, racing, rushing, or carrying on and not get to your destination. Uh, never see your loved ones. So, please just remember: no trips worth dying for. No, you know, no trip is worth trying to be the hero of um, of an argument like um, brake checking a truck. Like really, because the truck might have been a bit close. Really, trucks are speed limited to 100, so move on. Or in the next overtaking lane, pull over, let the truck go. If you've got someone who's aggressive behind you, just let them go. You know, there's no need to start hitting your brakes and carrying on like an idiot because it could end up killing you. Um, spread the word, people. Uh, people have got to start... Um, becoming a little bit more sensible on the roads. Um, the attitudes of, oh, well, I'll, I'll ride their ass, it'll make them go faster, or I'll brake check because, you know, you get too close, I go slower. No, all of that is childish, it's all silly, and it's killing people. So, a little bit of sense, and, you know, let's face it, now all those people who turned up at the scene, the horror that they saw, they've now got to live with it and they had no part of it the families of all those in, involved like this occurred about five o'clock yesterday afternoon every single one of those families now has been impacted forever you know um, a lot of the caravanners are older people you know they've been driving 40 odd years and then suddenly a car's in front of them and it's just happening in front of them in seconds you know, um, loved ones being badly injured, you know, burned. Having a license is a privilege, not a right. You have to um, treat it as such. And to be out here on the roads carrying on like an absolute moron because you think you have more right to do something than somebody else, it's just... It's all kinds of narcissistic, really. So, you know, yeah. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, I have a lot to say on that sort of thing. I have some strong viewpoints. Um, I just um, would like to publicly say, look, to those who, you know, to the emergency services and the witnesses of it, as well as the people who were inadvertently caught up in it, well, I, hope, I hope everything works out well for you in the long run. Um, please get the help you need if um, you've been exposed to trauma 
and um, all going well, uh, the future will get better for you. Anyway, take care all. You, know, you guys um, take it easy out there, right? Bye for now.